threw me at our show last night. Say, I've been spending time in the devil's edition. Suppose that's just how it is. That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife. My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back.
You're a good filly. You're done. Over here. Come on, then. Okay, Missy.
You're a good girl now. Ain't much in the mood for company right now, partner. Used to be nice here. I never forget a face. This is your first time here, right? Good enough. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these at least. Good doing business with you. Come again. Come on. Back up there! I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone! Or what? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, huh. well, it's legal, um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. 
Sounds easy. Tommy, we got a bit of a ride. I know. You got a You're problem. okay. You're okay. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? All right. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Hey, uh, I've been a real fool and forgot to ask my friend Nathan Kirk where he's staying. You got any idea? He's a bald feller from New York. I'm sorry, I don't know. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? Uh, no, sir. Hey, we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's... Resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. The season? Good lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Well, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay. Thank you. Welcome center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. Easy enough. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. 
Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Well, oh, stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She... Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you.
Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Welcome. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Take a seat. Lost. I'm straight out of hospitality. That's it. I'm gonna beat the car out of you. We're fine, ain't we? Hey! 
easy there. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. But they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. 
Well, I got some things to take care no, of. not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> You gonna mount up or what? Follow me. Yeah, water, step right up. Where are we headed? West. West? Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Me again. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up. Or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age, 
No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slums. Good morning, mister. Come on, lady. Hey, partner, you seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure, I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's, he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Fine morning to you. Very sorry. All right, girl. All right, what, what's, what's happening? <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good Lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries. They still love a out. surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave.
Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Pretend he's Micah. What is this? Come on, Simon! Don't him. black out just yet. This is real. No wolf. No wolf. Kill him. Hit him, little wolf. <laughs> Don't be stupid, little wolf. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So... What happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. You was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. Hey there, friend. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. Huh. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! 
Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have... Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey, yeah. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San Denis ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, it weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. OK. On me. Oh, don't get sentimental. Level it. On you, John. You gonna pull that horse or I gotta give it a kick? 
You're strong, man. Come on. See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <clears throat> Let's go, girl. Maybe earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Help a blind man. Here you go. You're a fool, fiend. But not so much of a fool as you think. Nor such a fiend. The past is done, and the future yet to come. Back in All my right. younger days, I well, I'll have to take your word for it. Hello, sir. Things feel no better. No harm now. done. Twentieth century. Oh. Hello, Sadie. Hello, oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of... Uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work? Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, 
I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Whoa! You're a good filly. Thank you. Who's this then? Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Get out of the way, damn you. Yeah. How you doing, friend? That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble? Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north, or gone off somewhere else, or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. Can you pick it up, please? You ready? Okay. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Okay, well, let's move. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything on Dutch? You're too far behind. Stay with me from now on. Anyway, you carry on. Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. 
I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on! We gotta get there! Come on! Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Come on. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Back on your horse! Let's get after them! To me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Might be our chance. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of the horse. Come on, get over here. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. So what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We are doing this together. We're going. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys below us. Let's get closer.
We need our horses. I know that. Hold on. Get it for Robin May, Langton. Shit! Are you with her? What's it look like? Come on! It's time to collect! Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Down the canyon! Let's ride! Yeah! I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. What are you doing? I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How'd it work ain't easy, Joan? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there? You didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. Honest folks shouldn't have to take Here we it. are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. Oh, you're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. It's your cell uh, in there. Uh, uh, We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? 
No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Whenever you're Hello. ready, uh, go on over. We'll get some fresh water boiled up for you. Could I offer some assistance? Um, okay. Perfect. You can leave it to me. Whenever you're done, just say the word. You let me know if the water gets cold. You'll be clean as a whistle. if you need a scrub anywhere else. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. You're gonna feel so good after I'm through with you. How are things? Just fine, thank you. Oh, good. You'll be clean as a whistle. Let me know if you need a scrub anywhere else. Mm. 
1907, you were a fine friend, and even fine female company.